So let's move on to Gary Oldman, who has long been lucratively, though in my view wastefully employed, playing psychotic villains in Hollywood thrillers, the current Air Force One, for example. Though America doesn't seem to know it, he's a much more versatile actor than that, as he proved in Sid and Nancy and Prick Up Your Ears. However, he's now turned his hand most impressively to directing. Nil by Mouth, which he also wrote, is a harsh but absorbing low-life drama set in the kind of dismal South London tower block in which Oldman himself grew up. The protagonists are the brutal Ray Winston, who's given to excessive violence and drunken maudlin sentimentality, and his drab, victimised wife, Kathy Burke, whom, in a fit of jealous rage, he beats so badly that she miscarries. No, please bear with me, for this is a remarkably believable and, in its uncompromising way, rather touching film. Hello, William. What's you doing here? Come in. Are you me, ma'am, now? Yeah, she's in the living room. Can you get her? I'm coming in. No, I'm all right. Janet, Janet Billy's here. Billy boy, get your ass in here. Have you got some front coming round here? Ray's on his way round. He's just come off the phone and he sounds boozed. Yeah, so? Well, he's off, hasn't he? He's got the um, over that picture. What picture? <laughs> you walked off with his mum's picture. <laughs> what are you doing with me? What are you laughing at? Oh, Ray's, Ray's upset about that You've had murders over that, you little git. Look, if you're coming in, get upstairs, right? Because he's on his way over with that mark. Yeah, him. Well, what have you done with a picture? I sold it, mate. Come in and we'll hide you under the bed. Nah, don't be daft. I only come up to give you this. What's this? All right, that's for you and Nan, all right? Because, like, she lends me fags when I ain't got them. She makes me cups of tea and all that lot. You know what I mean? A bit flush at the minute, so it's all right, OK? See you later. Billy, take it back. We don't want it. No, that's yours, all right? I'll see you. As he dips in and out of his characters' lives, Oldman builds up a vivid picture of the appalling damage drink can do and of a dissatisfied, dysfunctional society dominated by macho males to whom women are either slags, skivvies or sexual toys. These are people whose main problem is that they're going nowhere. For them, life won't get any better than it is. But after the beating, as Burke, her mother, Layla Morse, and her grandmother, Edna Dore, round on the increasingly out of control Winston, Oldman also suggests convincingly and in an odd way comfortingly that this is basically a matriarchal society in which no matter what the men may think, it's the women who have the real strength. Now this is a gritty, violent film in which the language is fierce enough to make Eddie Murphy blush, but it has the kind of slice-of-life naturalism and fly-on-the-wall quality that we normally associate with the likes of Ken Loach and Mike Lee. Parts of it are very funny. Other parts, especially for those who abhor violence and the constant repetition of four-letter words, are quite shocking. But altogether, it marks a most accomplished debut for Oldman, both as writer and director. Not only has he extracted fine performances from an excellent supporting cast, but more notably, he's provided Ray Winston and Kathy Burke, who won the Best Actress Award at Cannes this year, with probably the best roles they've ever had. It was in Cannes that I talked to Gary Oldman about his film and its autobiographical origins. I am right, a boy am right, to dine on my fine fin and hedging. A lot of the locations in the movie are the actual locations. Um, and uh, there's one particular scene where I show the character Ray, Raymond Winston, um, sitting at a bar drinking, and then I sort of cut back, and it's sort of like he's, it's like nine in the morning, and he's sitting drinking in an empty pub. Well, that pub is two doors away from where I was born, and it's the pub where my father used to drink at that bar, and it is the place where my mother, as he says in one of the, uh, in, in one of the speeches in the movie, um, that his mother, it says my mother took his dinner in and put it on the bar. And, and my mother actually did that. Well. You still love me? Do I still love you? Why'd you do it, Ray? I'll do it. I did it. Because I love you. I use the title ironically, mm. uh, as well as li literally, because of, he talks about his father and the, and the sign above the hospital bed. But I use it, you know, these people have no communication skills. And, and that when they actually do open their mouth, uh, you know, they don't, do, they don't do terrifically well on self esteem. I was, I was looking at him, you know. For the first time in my life, I talked to him. 
said. Why don't you ever love me? Ultimately, you become terribly boring because you have a drink and you think you're the sexiest person in the room, the funniest, because um, every woman wants to go to bed with you, everybody wants to hear your stories. And, and part of that, that um, repartee in the movie uh, between the men um, was something I very much, I very much experienced. We, I come from a pub culture. Yeah. I stand at the bar, you know, with a pint in my hand, and you hear that. Bollocks. I've never heard anyone in a pub say, I don't know. They go, oh, yeah, I, I used to fly those. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You never... Right. Yeah, they do. They? <laughs> yeah, I used, yeah, I used to do that, yeah. Yeah, I used to drive those, yeah. <laughs> and um, you never... You, it's a word... It's something that you never hear men say. Uh, well, he was always, um, always pissed in it, wasn't he, you know? I mean, we, we, we're going to pub. Yeah, living, you know. It's where we do our business. Mm. Every in here spunked out the wall whistling, I'm not a Dina, you know, thank you. And he'd uh promised things, you know. Promised to take us places, you know. Never did. Never took us anywhere. I enjoyed it enormously. Yeah. It was great fun being boss. <laughs> you know, there's the camera, where do you want it, Gav? Here. You know, and they put it there, and it doesn't move until you tell them to put it there. It was fantastic. Right, nice for an actor to be in that position. I know. You said action, and everybody ran around, and you said cut, and they turned the camera off, and they look at you and go, what next, governor? And you go, um, really? Look, talking to me? You know, it was, a fan, it, was, it was thrilling. And believe me, he said action and cut in exactly the right places. Nil by Mouth opens here on October the 10th, and incidentally, Leila Morse is an anagram of Mia Sorella, my sister, because she is, in fact... Gary Oldman's sister.